Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead and I got a request from the kids. They wanted the Spanish chicken and rice that I make. So, <laughs> that's what we're having for dinner tonight. I've made this before, but I figured I'd take you all along with me again and uh, make them what they want. You know, happy family, happy Lee. Alright, so I washed couple of the potatoes that we grew and I'm going to cut them up into chunks because those are going to go in my beans. I use them to soak up sodium. So I may only need three. May only need three. I think I'll only need three. But, you know what, I've already gotten this one all wet, so I'll just cut it up. We'll add them all. And I filled my Instant Pot. This is my six cup, my six quart, actually, Instant Pot. Filled it with rice, added some salt. I'm going to push that off to the side because that only takes a few minutes. And I have some tomato sauce that I had in the freezer from the last time I made it. And I have two bags and each bag has five pieces of bone-in chicken thighs. So we're going to get those in the pot. We are going to, I'm wondering if I need a bigger pot. Well, we're just going to use this one. What we're going to do is, we're going to get the chicken in here. You want to get it, you know, down as flat as you can. And we're only going to cover it with water to cover the chicken. And that is it. It's only going to be to cover the chicken and no higher. So, there we go. I'll get some water over it and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I have all the chicken in here. I covered it with some cold water. We're going to get that on the burner. Now we're going to take can of my Goya small red beans. Stick that right in there. We're going to throw the washed potatoes in there. I am just a simple lady making my version of Spanish chicken and beans and rice. So I added half a cup of uh, water. I'm adding the tomato sauce. Now we're going to add in packet sazon. Gonna get that stirred up. Get that all mixed in there. And that's all I do for it, honestly. And I just get it on the stove top and get it to boiling and I keep stirring it, don't letting it stick to the bottom. Although, you know me, sometimes I get it and I walk away and then I forget. So I'm gonna get that on the burner. going to get that to boiling and I got the wrong burner on you know me all right bring me back so I have the beans on getting it ready to boil this is getting um, up to boil I have my six cup 
instant pot here. Probably can't see that. Hold on. All right, so I have my six quart instant pot. Get that plugged in. Gonna move this over here. I have such a tiny counter, guys. All right, so. This takes about seven to eight minutes. So when all this chicken is getting ready to be done, I will come back with this and get it going. All right, we'll bring you back. All right, so I come in and I stir this. I just stir it every few minutes to make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom and I'm gonna let it boil so that the sauce will thicken. Make sure that that water is covering the chicken. And every once in a while, I add a pack of the seasoning while the chicken is boiling down. It's gonna get pretty frothy, so I try to get some of that froth off. doesn't hurt anything, but I like to take as much of it as I can off. Now I leave the skins on, but I do flip the chicken every once in a while so that it's evenly cooking. I just let it boil itself down. That chicken boils as it's cooking and the water's going to eventually come out of it and boil out and it's going to season that chicken. Yum! Okay, so I'm just stirring it and it's getting thicker, the beans. So I turned the heat down. I brought it down to about a four. So it's like a medium because I let them boil and thicken and the beans are going to cook a little bit so I'm just going to put the cover back on there let it vent the chicken is boiling and you want to let it boil so that you can get it to where there's no liquid in the pan that's going to that's going to uh, get all that flavor in there and I flip the chicken make sure that both sides are getting evenly cooked on the chicken oh, this stuff is so good all right so it's thickened up it's right the way I like it so I took it off the heat and I am going to give it one Good stir, make sure I scrape the bottom, make sure nothing sticks. I'm going to put a cover on it. And we're going to put it on the stove, but not on that burner, because I don't want to keep cooking it. So now, we have to wait for the chicken. This water has to boil down all the way. It's going to just continue to boil. And I just kind of stir the flip the chicken around, try to keep it under as much water until the water's all gone. We'll bring you back. Okay, so the water's still boiling down. I just turned it all just to make sure that the uh, skins are not sticking. And I added another pack of the seasoning. That will probably be my final pack and let the water boil out. Now, I make these with like this with the bone in, but I also do the boneless chicken thighs and I cut them into small bite-sized pieces and I do it the same way. I put them in there with water covering the top and boil it all down and let all the water boil out and oh my god that is so good but we also like it with the bone in as well so uh, I'm just 
just going to give these potatoes a stir. Nothing sticking to the bottom because the heat is off. Let this finish boiling down and in about five or ten minutes I will start the rice. All right, so now I have the four cups of rice in here and I am going to do four cups of water. You can use chicken broth, you can use any kind of broth you want. I'm just going to use plain water and we're going to get this set to go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rice paddle and I'm going to stir this up because I had salt mixed in there. You don't want anything sticking to the bottom so you want to have plenty of liquid. I'm going to turn it to lock it and then I'm going to turn my thing to sealing and then I'm going to do pressure cook and eight minutes and I'm going to leave it just like that because we are down to the last little bit of water in here so I'm going to let that just keep boiling down till I hear a sizzle and then I will shut it off because that means there's no more water in there. Oh this smells heavenly. Heavenly! So I'll bring you back. So I have one of my Tasty J cucumbers from the greenhouse. And I am peeling that up. And I also have a tomato from outside. We have one more left that I can see is um, almost going to be ready. And then it'll be that from the tomatoes, I think. Um, so we're going to get these cut up. I'll either have some in a salad or, because I love a salad with ranch dressing when I have this meal with the, the chicken and the rice. I just love the way the ranch dressing mixes with the rice on my fork. Oh, it's so good. So we're gonna get this peeled up. I'm gonna cut it, put some on a plate or a bowl for everybody. And we'll have a fresh cucumber and Tomato. Look at that. Still getting some cucumbers. This is from a second planting that I started in the greenhouse after I pulled all the first ones out. And everybody loves cucumbers. Alright, so we are shut I shut the burner off. I'm going to let this just finish cooling down. Look how beautiful that looks. See, the skin just kind of hangs off. We just wanted it in there to add flavor. I don't eat the skin when I cook it this way, but it does help add flavor. All right, so it beeped. Now I'm going to slowly release the steam. And I try to put like a little thing over it or, so that my beef dishes that are in the sink don't get full of the steam. So that is what it looks like while it's depressurizing. And when that's done, this little knob here will drop down and I'll be able to unlock the lid. All right, it's coming down. All the steam is almost out of it. <clears throat> Just wait until that little pin drops and then I can unlock it. There we go. Now you can put these lids right on inside the handle like that if you would so wish.
can use the paddle or you can use a fork just to fluff up the rice. And usually it cooks perfectly every time. Yes, yes, yes. Chris just walked in the door. There you go. Yum. 